What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to write in-depth, high-quality listicle style articles using ChatGPT. If you're unfamiliar with what a listicle style article is, it's any article that's written in a list format. This is really popular because it's very engaging, it's very easy to read, and you can include a listicle style article for a variety of different topics. So for example, you can create an Amazon product roundup, you can create a listicle style blog post about the best blogs for a specific industry, or you can do a listicle style article for pretty much any topic. So let's go ahead and show you the full workflow that I would use to create high quality and in-depth listicle style articles. Let's say for example, you wanted to write a listicle style blog post about the best affiliate blog posts for everyone to follow. Then what I would first do is I would enter the keyword how to become an affiliate marketer. And if any websites are ranking for this keyword, then that means they're most likely an authority within that space. And I'm gonna use ChatGPT, specifically the plugin mode to extract information about these websites and then plug it into the playground mode to write a full article. The first website in which I'll be extracting information from is from Ahrefs. So I'm going to tell the AI to extract the main information from this blog post, including the website name, description of the website, and the type of content that they create and why people should follow this website. So as you can see here, we get a nice summary of this website, which is Ahrefs. And then we can use that information to plug it into ChatGPT for that specific listing on our listicle style blog post. So I'm just gonna repeat this process. So I'm gonna go over to another website. So this is gonna be Authority Hacker. I'm gonna copy this link, head back over to ChatGPT. And you can either just copy over the prompt or you can just say, um, do the same thing for this URL and it will be able to do so. So I'm gonna do this for about five different websites. So I'll have five different um, listicle style points and then I'll head over to the playground mode and show you how it all goes together. So now we have all five of the blog posts content generated. We have a description and a summary of those specific blog posts in which we'll be including in our listicle style article. Now we wanna head over to Playground and the first thing we're going to do is prime the system. So we're gonna tell the system what type of article we'll be creating. The first prompt that I've entered is you're an expert blog post writer specializing in writing engaging in-depth articles about the best affiliate blogs to follow. And next I'm going to paste the information that we got from ChatGPT. I'm using the WebPilot plugin. And in the system I've written that we're going to write a listicle style article and include all of these websites below because again we want to make sure that we're uh, priming the ai so it knows exactly what it needs to get done now what we're going to do is generate an outline first so the prompt for that would be create an engaging and in-depth blog post outline about the best affiliate websites to follow in 2023 and include the information from the system plus also any other applicable outlines for this article right in markdown I like to tell it to include other information because if not, it'll just create a outline for the information in the system. So let's go ahead and reduce our temperature to about 0.79. We're gonna increase our maximum length. I'm gonna increase the frequency penalty just a little bit and the presence penalty just a touch. Let's go ahead and submit this and see the outline that we're able to get back. Here's the outline in which we're able to get back. We get the best affiliate websites to follow in 2023. We get an intro. And then we talk about the specific websites that we listed within our system. So Ahrefs, Authority Hacker, Arbello, Kingstill, and Larry Ludwig's blog. And we have a seventh, which is an additional affiliate website in which you can include or you can let the AI um, write it for yourself. And then we have a conclusion. So as you can see, it was able to take that information and create us a more customizable outline for the specific blog post in which you're trying to create. So now that we have the outline, it's time to generate the full article. The prompt I'll be using is using this information in the system and the outline, write the full article, be as in-depth as possible and include lists and tables, write in an engaging and informative tone and always write in markdown. Let's go ahead and run this. So while this article is writing, if you would like me to write you a free article of your choice, I am offering a blog writing service. All you need to do is fill up the form in the description below this video. Let me know which blog post topic you would like me to write about and I'll send you over a free sample. If you like the sample, you can then go ahead and get a paid package. So far, we've written a lot of content in various niches and we've really honed in on the process to getting high quality articles using ChatGPT, specifically the playground mode. So if you wanna check out that service, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. So the first full article has been generated. It's a little bit short for my likings and sometimes that's the issue when you feed information into ChatGPT. It only takes that information so it doesn't really um, allow it to be as creative as it can be. If you create content and it's a little bit short for your liking, what you can do is you can remove all of the excess prompts that you don't need 
we can even remove this content from the system because it's already taken our content and created an article. Now we can change to the GPT 3.5 model and ask it to expand this article. So I've asked the AI to expand this article to include more information, but keep the style and tables and lists. And I'm using the GPT 3.5 model and I've increased the maximum length all the way. And because we've removed all of the additional prompts, we have more token limit, uh, which allows us to get a much longer article. Okay, so now we have the expanded blog post by GPT 3.5. Let's see how long this is. It should be a little bit over a thousand words. So about 1300 words, which is not bad by any means. This is what the article looks like when you convert it. As you can see here, you have your title, you have your intro. We have a nice little list there. Again, we have a list. Um, we talk about Orello, Kingsta, and so on. And we also have an additional affiliate website roundup, which has various websites within the affiliate marketing niche in a nice little table and a conclusion. So that's my workflow in which I would use if I'm creating high quality listicle style articles, I would first use WebPilot to extract information from those websites. Then I would plug that into ChatGPT using the playground mode, create an outline and then use that outline to create the full article. And if you need to, you can expand it by then just using GPT 3.5. So let me know if you guys liked today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.